Like, they weren't lying when they said when that frontal lobe develops, it develops like overnight. It's actually scary. I now define myself not by what I do, but why I do it. Look, unexpected change comes for us all, whether we like it or not. And when it does, it can really suck. <laughs> but I'm hoping that if we can stay open to how we might internally change, how we might expand, it can help us weather the storm. What's going on, family? Come along with your girl as we go to work. So as y'all can see, I am currently in session. Well, this is actually before my client got here, but she kind of has a hard time like verbalizing her feelings and talking about them. So today we're doing like a fun kind of interactive activity because she's a child. So I'm incorporating Uno, but we're going to be using the different colors in Uno to describe different emotions that she might be experiencing. So as y'all can see on the paper, red is for anger, yellow is for happy, blue is sad, and so on and so forth. So, you know, I think this will be a really, really good activity to use with clients if you're having a difficult time with them, trying to get them to talk about feelings and stuff. But it's also a fun and interactive way to still get them to engage in session. My bad, y'all. I ain't see y'all there. I ain't see y'all there. <laughs> Let me get it together real quick. Mm. What's going on, family? It's your girl, Titan and Moss, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about sexual wellness, fashion, lifestyle, career, and entrepreneurship advice. So if any of those things are interesting to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you can become part of the family, too. And for all my returning viewers, hey, family, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl. So as y'all can see, your girl is digging into this salad I just made, okay? I know my combinations can be a little crazy, but stick with me. It's not bad. This right here. It's Italian dressing. This is what's going to set it off. Okay, you get you some croutons. Get you that little trail mix that I had. They had the nuts, the cranberries, all that in there. Get you some sweet onions, some red bell peppers. And then, what was the last thing I put in there? I don't know, I forgot, but it's good. And then I put a little bit of some um, sharp shredded cheese in there. Anyways, y'all, don't mind these pimple patches on because I'm just getting over Mother Nature coming through and wrecking shop. But, yeah, starting a new Life Beyond the Classroom series today. Yesterday, as y'all can see, and I added in a little clip of me being at work. You wait to eat until after I'm done talking, y'all. So I added a clip in of me at work yesterday or whatever. It was, it was a pretty cool day. But not. And then now today I'm working on some reports or whatever. So I'm going to show y'all that in a little bit. I had a lot of authorizations due this week because a lot of my clients' authorizations are due around the same time. So it's just been a really, really busy week for me overall. Next week, I got a presentation that I'm leading for my job Every employee has got an opportunity each month to do 
a training on something that they're passionate about. I think the focus of mine is going to be on self-care and maintenance and preventing burnout in the field because y'all know how passionate I am about that. So I think that's what I'm going to talk about. So of course, I will take y'all along to show y'all that next week. And then also I got a um, training next week on assessments and other things like that as well. So yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty jam pack what work stuff next week and then like i said this week i'm just getting these authorizations done on tomorrow plus we're going to like this little rooftop vibe or whatever with my home girl at monroe it's supposed to be like an r&b night so i'm looking forward to that because that seems like it's going to be fun and that's all i can think about right now as far as plans for the weekend so i just wanted to come pop off the vlog say hey what's up y'all so you you guys are ready for this episode, y'all know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see y'all shortly. It is, it is, when I'm sitting here alone all by myself It's different when I think you might be with somebody It is, 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 it is What's up y'all happy friday as y'all can see your girl has been out and about running errands got my feet done earlier went to sephora to pick up some things um i ended up getting just the cookies and clean mask from fenty beauty i really like this for um cleaning out the pores and stuff like that and then i got an anti dark circle under eye mask and then I'm trying out this new brand, which I showed y'all when I was in the store too, is Black Owned called LYS Beauty. So we're gonna see how that goes. So far, so good. Um, I use it today. I'm still trying to like figure out like the whole point of a contour stick, honestly, in my makeup routine, but it wasn't that expensive. It was only like $20. I was like, sure, why not? Let's try it. So as I was telling you guys yesterday, I'm going out with Cora and her cousin, and we are heading to Monroe for the R&B by the water. That's what it's called. So this will be my first time going to, I guess, their event that they're trying to do like this. I don't know if this is like a new thing that they're doing, but I've been to Monroe before or whatever. And I took y'all there with me before too. So um, of course, you know, I'll take y'all there for the vibes and stuff. And I did just want to come show y'all this bag real quick because they be, when I say coach did they big one, it's getting very much Chanel. It's getting very much Gucci. Like, I don't know what's been going on lately, but coach has been snapping okay so yeah i did a review and unboxing on this bag so if you guys want to see that in full detail make sure to go check out that video i have it listed down below if you're interested but anyways y'all i just wanted to come check in before we get into the festivities tonight so i will see you guys shortly it's 7 p.m friday it's 95 degrees i ain't got no nigga and no nigga ain't got me let's go i'm about to show my ass these niggas love freak how the fuck is that your man
Good morning, y'all. As you can see, your girl is up. I done cooked breakfast. I just made a French toast breakfast sandwich with bacon, egg, and cheese, y'all. I know this is big bad boy. I said this is so good. Oh my god. I made the eggs perfect to like it's low key giving Waffle House eggs. I told y'all baby, I'm in my cooking air real bad. Okay. And I'm drinking coffee now. Like I've been drinking coffee almost every other day. Like, who is this girl? I'm scared of her. But we stepping into a new era, okay? So Today's Sunday, y'all. I'm just chilling right now. I was up late editing or whatnot, and I gotta get some notes done for my job today, and I also need to work on that PowerPoint presentation for the training this upcoming week that I'm leading. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that if I'm able to get to it today. And what else? Uh, Monroe was really cool on Friday. It was a nice little vibe. It was starting to get turned up at the wise, you could see, but it was still like cute, classy vibes. And then uh, for the rest of the weekend, I just chilled, y'all. I just chilled and edited and did work. So that was my fun for the weekend. That one day out, and we called it a day. So tomorrow, y'all, is game day. If y'all don't know, now you know. Your girl is in her Barbie air rubby. I don't know why. Like, that's just kind of like my theme in my room, as y'all kind of see. Like, pink nostalgia, 90s kind of vibes like I used to love like Barbies and brass and some of them when I was younger so like I feel like I'm like healing my inner child right now so <laughs> it may be childish to some people but we all have something that is like our vice so hey it is what it is so tomorrow they're coming out with the Barbie Stanley y'all I have literally been stalking the site and I got all my friends on deck I'm like y'all I need everybody to come through because somebody gotta get this cup if I don't get it one of y'all gotta get it okay so I am crossing my fingers that I get that cup because when I say it's so cute, y'all, and of course, if I get it, I'm going to show you guys or whatever, but anyways, I just want to come chat with y'all real quick or whatnot, so I'm going to finish eating my food, and I'm going to check in with y'all in a little bit. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still want to party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn. All of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. So again, for those who don't know, my name is Titiana, and today I will be leading the presentation. I'm going to try to attempt to share this PowerPoint again, and hopefully it pulls up. So y'all just let me know if y'all can't see it or not. Alrighty, so today y'all, we are talking about managing self-care and preventing burnout during the holiday season. Um, as I was telling some of the ladies before other people got in, I think it's important as clinicians that we're making sure that we're taking care of ourselves first so we can be able to 
take care of our clients as well. So as y'all can see, I have a circle here and this is me in the middle, you know, and I have a cup here, but my cup is looking quite empty and this cup is pouring into myself. So we're going to go a little bit through the presentation to see how can we get the cup back filled up to the top. So I just wanted to start off the presentation with this statistics that I had found during some research and it was saying in the year of 2024 around 20% of social workers have experienced burnout and with a significant portion of it is shown signs of emotional exhaustion, depersonalization, reduced personal accomplishment indicating a high prevalence of burnout within the profession. I thought that that was very interesting to kind of start out with and alarming because 20% is pretty high if you ask me. So that is showing me that we are not doing what we need to do to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. And so again, hopefully this presentation gives you guys some ideas and some new ways to just make sure that you're just taking care of yourself and, you know, taking that time out to practice self-care or whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that you are feeling mentally and physically stable so i would like for all of us to kind of write down in the chat if you guys can find the chat because i don't see the chat on my end so hopefully it'll pop up when y'all write in there but i want you guys to write down in the chat how are you guys feeling mentally today and i want you to be honest with yourself like do you feel like you're at a three a one a ten one would be like you know you're feeling really really tough and ten you're feeling like your absolute best so I kind of want us to kind of check in to see how we all doing today mentally. So some people might not know what burnout is, but burnout is characterized by exhaustion, synonym, and feelings of decreased professional ability. It's a result of prolonged or repeated stress. Often associated with an individual's professional life, burnout can typically, excuse me, technically stem from other life stressors as well as preventing or caretaking. Burnout is not the same as feeling overworked, but being overworked can contribute to burnout. So this is kind of like an example of what a dopamine menu is, but it's something that you utilize to kind of help to stimulate the brain and to do positive activities that'll make you feel good, okay? So we're gonna watch this short video really quick. Boring tasks to make it more stimulating and desserts. These are usual go-tos like social media. They're tasty in moderation, but they can make us feel yucky in the excess. The first category is entrees. These are things that take a couple of hours. And for me, my big entree right now is rock climbing. My husband and I just joined oh. a rock climbing gym and we're totally obsessed. <laughs> um, and me then too. The next yeah. category is appetizers, which are a quick little bursts you can do in 10 to 15 minutes, like taking a short walk around your neighborhood during the day. And then you also have sides, which you can do at the same time as a boring task to make it a little more interesting. Uh, for me, I have a little desk bike in my office that I can ride while I'm working. That's fun. And then finally, you have desserts. No shame about desserts. These are the things that we typically reach for when we want a quick hit of dopamine, like mm. scrolling through social media is a big one for me. Ready to see him. All right now. You want to talk about eight down? Eight down. My girl doesn't play with him. She don't play with him. Yes, honey. Got the nails done and we good to go. So I just wanted to come check in with you guys, of course, to show y'all that and to talk a little bit about how my training went this morning. So I did tell you guys that I was leading a presentation this month for my job for the training and I think it went really really well I got some really good feedback for the most part and the staff seemed to enjoy it so I'm super excited that it came out successful I was thinking to myself like it's crazy like I feel like when you're passionate about something you don't really be that nervous about it because I'm very typically nervous and antsy when it comes to presentations in general but I don't know like I didn't have the jitters or the worries 
or none of that today. Like I felt very comfortable. I felt in my element and um, I was just happy to be able to share some insight on ways that we can take better care of ourselves as everyday people and you know people in my profession because as you guys if you probably heard some of the presentation i mean in 2024 alone 20 percent of social workers have experienced burnout to some degree and that's a high percentage so i just want to do my part to make sure that i'm educating people on the importance of taking care of themselves and ensuring that they're not like giving too much of themselves that they don't have nothing left to give back to them at the end of the day if that makes sense so i have another one i have to do tonight at six as well so i'm going to be preparing for that in a little bit like i said i just got back home from work and things of that sort and after getting my nails done so i'm probably not going to show you guys that because y'all already seen the presentation this morning i'm just going to be doing the same thing it's just now i'm doing a second session of it or whatever so anywho that's pretty much it y'all just wanted to come check in all that good stuff or whatever as y'all saw yesterday too i did secure my barbie stanley honey okay i was not playing i had an alarm set and i was like i'm getting this cup and sure enough i got that cup so hopefully i put this video out in a decent amount of time so you guys can be able to still purchase it but to be honest since it's a daily drop they're probably going to sell out as the days come and y'all might have to buy for resale price so hopefully it's not jacked up too much if you do end up liking it but i'm so excited because it's supposed to come into the mail either tomorrow or thursday so of course i'm going to show it to y'all once i get it but that's it y'all just want to come like i said chat and check in so i will see you guys another day this week Hey y'all, what's up? Your girl is back. So as y'all seen earlier today, I went to a training for my job because I did tell you guys, well, I think I told y'all that um, my role changes in my job now. Like I'm still doing some of the same stuff, but I actually got trained on some of the new things that I'm gonna be doing, which is like assessments and the intakes for the new clients that we're getting in our program. And then just some other little things or whatever so it was very overwhelming to say the least like and it's not that i'm overwhelmed by an assessment because we did assessments aka biopsychosocials when i was in the msw program and learned about them but it's just like the whole process of learning something all over again all the paperwork and so that it comes along with it so i know after a while i'm gonna get used to it but of course everything is overwhelming when you first see it right so that's that and then yesterday i took you guys to the outlets with me to get my mom's some of her birthday stuff because i told you guys that uh she wanted i think i told y'all right i don't shout out i don't know i told y'all that she wanted these like mary jane looking crocs or whatever which i'm about to show y'all and then i'm gonna also show y'all me making her junk socks because she wants some of those too so these are what they look like I don't know i'm particularly not a fan of these but i mean if that's what she wants hey i'm gonna get them for her so i got the socks from amazon i ordered them and then i just ordered the little clips or whatever that you just press on the socks so i will show you guys me doing that probably sometime this week because her birthday's on sunday so i gotta get it done and then yeah that's about it i think we're gonna take her out to eat probably this weekend or something of that sort whatever she wants to do and i think that's oh no how could i forget i was about to show y'all what the main reason why i came back up here y'all because my cup is here already like when i say y'all stanley snapped so bad with this cup y'all should know and i need y'all to see her like hold on let me because i i'm boxing on tiktok so let me try to get it right for y'all get y'all like i act like i'm opening it with y'all for the first time honey because they snapped so bad with this cup oh my god all right, so first off, let's get into the packaging, right? It looks like it's like in an actual box, as if it was like a doll, you know? So then you open it up, you know, open it up, and then you get, I forgot to put this back in there, but 
they did give some stickers with it so these are what the stickers look like and this is the cup y'all look at how so stinking cute this is it has barbie on it it has like gold specks all over it it's two-tone pink the pink straw i mean they snap so bad for this I'm not going to lie, $60 is steep for a cup, but this was worth it. The packaging was A1. I'm just a little bit, like, confused because I do remember when I seen other people unboxing theirs that they had, like, a bag, so maybe I'm missing it or something, but... Oh, and then it has, like, Barbie's logo on there as well. Hopefully, y'all can see it, but her logo right there, so... Yeah, they snap real bad with this. I'm so excited to drink out of this and then i got some little stanley straw toppers to go with it some barbie ones from amazon y'all know i'm so extra <laughs> so these are what some of them look like i'm gonna just take the whole thing out so i can see all of them but i really wanted to get them just for a few of them but i'm like i mean i guess i might as well get the whole pack so it's like a ballerina shoe cup the actual barbie word and then you got these two. Yep, that's it, y'all. I just wanted to come and show y'all this because I know I literally been anticipating and building it up for y'all to see it throughout the vlog or whatnot. I just ordered on Monday and it got here already. It's only Thursday, so hit a thumbs up for me for fast shipping. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to get in here, cook myself some dinner. Probably not going to do a cook with me tonight because I don't feel like it, y'all. I'm just doing a homemade chicken sandwich. And homemade fries i am super super hungry so maybe i will show y'all that another day because when i tell y'all i feel like i have got down packed the perfect like chicken recipe okay um so let me know if y'all want to see that in the comments down below but just wanted to come check in with y'all so i will chat with y'all a little bit later what's going on y'all happy saturday happy saturday happy saturday we're getting ready to get the weekend shenanigans started Y'all know, as I've been telling y'all, my mama's birthday is this weekend, technically tomorrow. So we're about to get ready to go out to eat or whatnot. So I'm going to show you guys my outfit really, really quickly. And then we're going to get out of here, okay? This outfit is just very, just neutral. I love the colors. It's giving much, very much fall. So the top is from TikTok shop. It's from the QWS brand. They have really good, like, basics, bodysuits, things of that sort. The pants are from, I think I got these from Fashion Nova. These are Fashion Nova Shein, but they got, like, fringes on the side. Very fun, you know, cute, all of that. Earrings are from Amazon. Uh, braces are from Shein. Necklace is from K Spade. And then I have on two different shoes right now. Um, I think I'm going to end up wearing these, but these are my Steve Madding sandals. And then I also have a Tory Burch sandal on. I'm going to wear a new gold tabby, the cedar one, and that's the look. Anyways, that's it, guys. I'm going to show y'all my mama. And a little bit, of course, and my auntie and all of us once we get together. But I just wanted to check in. And, um, yeah, check in with you guys shortly. Now, how did you enjoy your dinner? It was okay. Oh, oh, you know. Okay. I'm used to surprise. My dinner was delicious. 
should have got the shrimp tacos. The, the Cajun ones. Yeah. Great. Uh, hello. So I tell you, hello. That, you but it's not minute. about dinner, it's about fellowshipping with family. Yeah. That, that that's minute. true, that's true. That yeah. Yeah. Last time I came to Surprise, it was really good, but I don't know. It was okay, too. It was okay what I got. My aunt, as y'all can see, she she loved her food. Yeah. <laughs> she loved her food. Worked, worked every single squat yeah, this morning. Ow! Oh. Ooh. All right, y'all. I'm gonna check with y'all later because this is a lot. We got the birthday girl. She got her Crocs on. It's a cute on them. Yeah, they, they look cute on the feet. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little eh. When I saw them, I said, I don't know about these. Let me say, look what the sock. They, they cute though, on. Anything you want to say, birthday girl? Are you taking this? Yes. Oh. Um. It's another year wiser. 55 looks good already. Period. I wish my mother a happy birthday in the comments. All right now. I think you gotta move those things to the front. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I got you. Okay, look how it came out, y'all. We just gonna move them around. They ain't come out too bad, though. Uh -huh. All right now. All right. Did you just say stand back and blow? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. You stand back and wait, wait, wait. We gotta sing to you first. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Okay. You would have made a wish that quick. Oh. Oh my. Come here. Don't take all that I'm making a wish. Come back over here and blow it like this. <laughs> come, over here, come over here and do it. No, uh-uh. Just right here. Just right here. Blow her. Blow her. <laughs> she needs some help. Stop eating the damn things that keep lighting up. You know that? I didn't play once. Look. <laughs> okay, good. Woo! I be blowing the candles on back there. <laughs> <laughs> When I'm low, she take me high. Teach you on the sound of love. Good morning, y'all. When I say, <laughs> I'm really scared of myself because who am I drinking coffee every day? Like, I legit look forward to drinking a cup of coffee every day, y'all. Like, this is about to be my go-to drink every morning. Starbucks who? Dunkin' who? Stop playing with me. If y'all don't know, I used to work at Starbucks for four years, so I really know how to get down when I come to make a drink, but I would just play on myself because I've never been a coffee person. Even when I was at Starbucks, like, I drank the coffee, but I only drank it, like, because I was working early in the morning. Like, I would be opening the store, which would be, like, at 4.30 in the morning. So, uh, you need something during that time, but I didn't really enjoy it. I was more so gravitating towards, like, the teas and the refreshers and stuff like that. But I don't know what's going on, y'all. Like, I'm telling you, like, I just feel myself changing. I feel like I'm really kind of stepping into my grown woman era for real now, like, just finding these different hobbies that I like. I feel like I'm just being more responsible. I'm trying to do better with my finances. You know, trying to kind of just, you know, elevate and change the way I dress a little bit. Like, of course, I'm still like, 
I, I like the streetwear to some degree, but I also like to like dress it up and look very extra girly and, and grown womanish as well. So it's just crazy, y'all. Like they won't lie when they say when that frontal lobe develops, it develops like overnight. It's actually scary. And I'm embracing it. I'm embracing it. So I'm just over here enjoying my cup of coffee. I put together the flower arrangement that my mom got yesterday for her birthday. I just, you know, cut the stems and everything. And that's another thing. Like, I've been really into that lately, too. Like, you know, just looking into, like, putting flowers together and stuff. And it's just, y'all, it's just crazy. It's crazy how, like, one day you could just wake up and be like, mm, I don't want to do this no more. I want to do something else. Like, life is just really crazy. It's really, really crazy. But anyways, I'm over here enjoying this cup of coffee, like I said. And I'm going to get ready for work in a little bit or whatnot but i just wanted to come chat with y'all i really ain't have much to talk about i just wanted to talk about how like just crazy it is when you just start to see and notice the changes within yourself so anyways that's it that's all i'll catch you guys in the next clip let me show you how to do a singing bitch crazy you was probably the one on peach i was with the beach see you when you're loving hip-hop then dc Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Now I almost got into a fight with a crackhead. Y'all want a little story time? Okay, I'm going to give y'all a little story time. We're going to make it real quick, though, because I need to go somewhere. So, as y'all know, sometimes when you are getting rid of old things, you put them on the curb, right? So, we have bags and different things of that sort on the curb currently because we was cleaning out the garage. We had some things going on down there. I'm not gonna get into detail, but long story short, it needed to go out. It, it was trash at this point. And I know myself, I'm always like donating, giving back. Y'all seen me doing on the vlogs before, like giving away clothes and different things of that sort. This just particular time, the stuff was damaged. So I'm just like, let me put it on the side of the street. So there's bags and stuff like that on the side of the road, right? So I'm in here talking to this guy or whatever that's doing some stuff in our house. And I see this lady, you know, rumbling through the stuff outside. Now, mind you, she's not the first person that has done this in the last day or so where the stuff's been out there. It's not an issue, but it's just a matter of she had taken the clothes out of the bag and had them in the street, y'all. So I'm like thinking to myself the people that come pick this stuff up with the claw they're not gonna pick it up like that so i was just going out there to just tell her like hey when you're done doing what you're doing can you just put this stuff back in the bag and she proceeds to get fucked with me like oh you could have donated this shit to the church and blah blah this on the third so i'm just like well first of all the stuff is damaged so that's why it's on the side of the curb anyway but i was like it's no need for all this extra stuff because you're doing too much but i was like actually you can you can get from in front of my property because you're doing too much now she was really just going off so then she's still going on she's telling me like bitch come in the street i'll wear your ass out do this on the third so i'm like oh baby i'm calling the police i'm pulling a you on you today okay i'm gonna be a carer today i'm calling the police so i don't have time for this i got a lot of stuff to lose you think i'm about to fight a crackhead for what for some clothes on the street no so I showed it, I called the police or whatever, and I'm describing them on the phone, and she's still going off and antagonizing and talking about my weight and all this other extra stuff, y'all. So I'm just weak. I'm just telling them I won't operate. I'm like, look, y'all need to hear it but get here. Cause I was like, if she come in this yard 
and, and try to come up to me. I ain't no telling what I'm finna do to defend myself. So y'all need to hurry up and get here. So they're like, ma'am, just try and stay on the porch. Just try and stay on the porch. Cause at the end of the day, like, I mean, you can't just be going off on anybody that you don't know what they got going on. And that's why I honestly, I try to be careful with who I approach now anyway, because I know people are crazy. People have guns, knives, all types of stuff. And when you have nothing to lose, oh, you're ready to throw it all away. So I know I have stuff to lose. So that's my initial thought was not going out there to start an altercation. But if you want a problem, I can definitely solve it for you. But anyways, so she's doing all that or whatever. I'm explaining myself on the phone. So then I got a small clip, y'all. My phone died, that's why I'm pissed. But I got a small clip of me recording her or whatever. And she's saying her name. She's like, yeah, look me up on Facebook. Do, do, do this and the third or whatever. So I'm like, you know, like, I'm going to just sit out here and wait till the police come. She was like, oh, well, I'm going to sit out here and wait too. Because I got time to do that. I said, I got time too. I guess we're going to be sitting out here together then. She told me, like, yeah, I can't wait for the police to get here so they can rough me up like they did last time. Hopefully they bring two or three of them out here so so um so they can fill up on me and da this and the third. So I'm just letting her just still going off. She's just going off, going off, going off, staying the same thing. So finally the police get here. And mind you, he kind of pissed me off a little bit because I do understand that this was a situation that I guess you could say is not serious because he did was all like, you know, because the lady was bucking on him as well. And stuff like that. And he said that he recognized her or whatever. So I guess he knows who she is. He was all like, you know, man, can you just put this stuff back in the bag so you can get on your way? He was like, I have to go fight crime or whatever. So I did. Like, he was like, you know, this is the issue that could have been resolved. And I told her, I said, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, that was the whole point of me calling you before it escalated to a crime situation. Because if we would have gotten in the street and got to fighting and somebody would have shot somebody or stabbed somebody or did this and the third, then y'all would have been definitely over here ready to arrest somebody. But I was like, but it's an issue and it's not that serious because I'm trying to prevent it from escalating to that point. So I really, that, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. And that's just exactly why people don't trust the police now. Because you call them for a problem, but then they come in here acting like they don't want to like help. You know? So anyways, the lady ends up putting the stuff in the bag. She's still talking shit or whatever. Blah, blah. She picks up this sweater or whatever. One of my old sweaters is like, oh, could you ever fit this? Because, um... Your boobs look a little bit big for that. I'm just letting her keep talking shit. Because at this point, girl, get your stuff and go. Like, the lady had on no shoes, y'all. So, clearly, she is homeless and all this and the third. So, I'm not about to sit up here and argue with somebody that has all of this stuff going on. Like, I, I know that she's not in her right state of mind. So, she might have got me a little bit out of character when we were going back and forth initially. When she first started getting smart, but after a while, I just bought myself back down because I'm just like, you know what? I know that she, like I said, in her right state of mind. So, anyways, she's putting the sub in. She's like, mm, well, I'm going to take this with me or whatever the case may be. And she told me some thanks for the clothes, girl. I just was sitting there looking at her. I said, Lord, have mercy. All I can do is shake my hand. I told the police officer, I said, I'm going to stand right here and wait till she walk off and go down the street. Because I was like, I don't trust her. And I don't got time for her to walk back up on this property. And he was just like, that's fine or whatever and stuff like that. And he went back to his car. I guess he sat in there for a little bit too to make sure she left. And that was it, y'all. So that was my Friday morning. I'm just like, what a hell of a way to start the day. But anyways, I just thought that it was funny. So I was like, let me go and tell y'all this story real quick and whatnot. Um, but I'm about to get ready to go out, run some errands or whatever. So that's it. That's all. I will pick you guys back up later so we can chat uh, either later on today or tomorrow. Hey y'all. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. We're getting ready to get up and get out the house. I'm going to brunch with my girls, Carlissa and Tamika. And then after that, we're supposed to be going to like a little outdoor type vibe party or whatever. So my outfit is, you know, just real chill, real casual. And then we got some fun prints going on. The leopard is in right now. Got my Kiss My Grit shirt. I have on a stack necklace for my girls Jewel Under Pressure. And then I have on my normal charm bracelets. And then my JBW watch and some different um, bracelet combos. And my Coach Tabby 20. My Steve Madden Slinkies. I ain't wearing these in a minute, y'all. I forgot I actually had these, but that is the fit. Anyways, just wanted to pop in and say hey to you guys before we get into today's festivities. So I will see you all shortly.
for me. What's up, y'all? I'm back after the a little event today. It was real nice or whatever, but I'm just coming here to close out the vlog, y'all. That's all I'm here for. I did just want to quickly tell y'all about these. Everybody has an addiction. Mine happens to be you. <laughs> okay, so here they are. Nerd gummy clusters. They got me in a chokehold. Berry berry flavor specifically. Um, oh lord. This ain't gonna get me in trouble, y'all. But I'm just here, like I said, to come and close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed to the family yet, we're waiting on clicking that red subscribe button down below before leaving out. Be sure to give a thumbs up because it helps your girl out. And as always, I thank you all so much, and I love you, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all. And I'm drinking coffee now. Like, I've been drinking coffee almost every other day. Like, who is this girl? I'm scared of her. But we're stepping into a new era, okay? <laughs>